In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable auto server updates for Echo Speaks. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to enable auto server updates for Echo Speaks. Basically, what the problem is here is we do all of our updates through the community installer, but it is not updating the server. So you're going to go in and you're going to look you're going to say everything is up to date. Everything is good. But on the app itself, it's going to say that you need to do a server update. So how we're going to do that is we're Gonna have to go into github so if you don't have an account for github you're going to have to get that set up and i'll leave this in the video description as well we go to this page and then what you're going to want to do is sign in to your account i'm going to go ahead and sign in real quick all right now once you are signed in you should see your picture up at the top here and then you know that you're signed in so you want to go right to this fork and you want to click on fork And now it's forking the Echo Speaks server. And now you can see everything kind of looks the same as it did before, but the fork is grayed out. And now it has my username with the Echo Speaks server. All right, so now we need to set up the pull app. And what this will do is it will automatically watch for updates and automatically pull in the most recent version. So all we need to do is go to this website here which is github.com slash wei slash pull. And then we just need to come down here to getting started, basic setup, just install, pull app. All we need to do is click on the pull app link. And then what we need to do is click on the installation here. And just say all repositories and then click on install. And then it says at the top, okay, pull was installed on the, so we know that is set up and good. All right, so now we need to head over to our Heroku dashboard and just in the upper right hand corner, we need to log in. All right, now once logged in, you'll see your Echo Speaks files and mine is this second one here. This other one has been removed. We tap on that and we're gonna click on deploy. And then under deployment method, we want to choose GitHub. And then we just want to come down and click on connect to GitHub. So here it's just going to connect to your GitHub. And since we're already logged in from the previous step, you don't have to log in. All we have to do is click authorize. All right, so now you can see that our deployment method here is now GitHub. And what we need to do is put in the repo name. We're just gonna put in echo speaks dash server. Click on the search. And now you can see that it is found it here. And we have the connect button. So we're gonna go ahead and click connect. Now in this section here, you just need to be sure that the master branch is chosen and check off wait for CI to pass before deployment. So we have those two things checked here. And now we can click on enable deploys. And now the last step, just to make sure that it's going to work, we can go ahead and manually deploy this for the first time. We're just going to click on deploy branch. And at the very bottom, you can see it says your app was successfully deployed. Okay, now you can see that the app says no issues to report. So we know that our server has been updated. And since we did it the automated method, 
it will never have to be updated again. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Be sure to get back to you as soon as possible, and I will see you in the next video.